workshop of the Board of Trustees of the Village of Park Forest to order. Will the clerk please call the roll? Trustee Brandon? Here. Dillard? Here. Kopichinski? Here. Kramer? Here. McCray? Here. O'Neill? Here. Mayor Astenberg? Here. It's like we're spread out all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, um, uh, just for the sake of the audience, I'd like to just uh, explain that um, uh, when, the board, when the board adopted the schedule this year for meetings, and, and part of what we decided to do was keep the fourth Monday of the month open for workshop sessions, uh, not a formal meeting, but where there are issues that we feel uh, the board needs to know a little more about, uh, or there's something that we want to explore a little more carefully. And so tonight is one of those workshops where we're going to have a presentation uh, on the whole project relating to uh, the weapons and so on, so in the classroom and how it's utilized. So uh, I think, will John be handling things, Tom? Or Pretty much our presentation for the evening is the sole purpose, as the mayor said, is just for the presentation of what's going on, uh, student presentations. Uh, I think it's what the board and the public can expect to see this coming uh, spring and summer out at the Aqua Center, out at uh, the Wetlands Discovery uh, Center, and then uh, the wetlands themselves. Um, I think it's educational in nature. I think the board, based on some of the stuff that I've seen from uh, uh, Director Joyce, is going to be inspired and proud of what's going on in the community. And I think it's a real partnership between the youth. I think the school district is also at play, a, a part of this as far as funding goes. Uh, and then obviously with our facilities out at the Wetlands, uh, the Aqua Center and the Discovery Center. Uh, I think our, our program for tonight is a, uh, a short introduction by Director Joyce. Uh, we also have a uh, presentation from Michelle as to what's going on uh, and then the board can go out and actually intermingle and see what's going on uh, with the individual presentations and then I will refer to you Maris when you want to. Okay, very good. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'm basically just going to introduce Michelle. This started uh, about two years ago when I saw Michelle and Emily building bat houses on the benches from the men's locker room and women's locker room in the uh, bathhouse at the pool. And they were bringing children and kids to the uh, wetlands and we thought, you know what, we need a place here. We need a place here other than the benches in the lobby of the Aqua Center to do what they want to do and to uh, put the exciting ideas that they have uh, in place on a regular basis. And <clears throat> everything just worked beautifully. We, we ended up getting a grant. Uh, we end up putting that on our agenda as a, something that's really high on our agenda with the sustainability and, and all things related to that. And uh, Michelle and uh, um, <clears throat> Marty Blaze is not here today. I think it's spring break, so she's, but she's a partner in this project. We've had all kinds of schools at the Wetland Discovery Center, even schools from the city of Chicago and all the other districts around. But tonight we're featuring uh, Michelle and the projects at 163. She's going to kind of introduce the project and the strategy for how we're going to move around uh, afterwards. So Michelle O'Connor. Thank you very much, John. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. I come here bearing good news. Science is alive in Park <coughs> Forest. <laughs> Look at these beautiful students. <laughs> we're so proud of the students. Uh, we started a really interesting program at school called Lunch and Learn. And it came about when uh, we needed some time with the students, the students that had interest in science. They were coming to the Science Depot. The Science Depot is a program that uh, started about 10 years ago. Fred Segner, who was a principal at District 163, started the program in several school districts. It's a hands-on approach to science. And the students love it. It's a really good chance for kids to have science K through 8th grade. So we started a program called Lunch and Learn. And so the students come in at lunchtime once a week. And they have lunch with us in the Science Depot. And they start creating these beautiful projects. Now the projects that you're going to be looking at tonight are, are a step to what's going to happen on May 21st. We are going to have a science expo at the Aqua Center, the Discovery Wetland Discovery Center. And so they're already working on it. It's going to be a big day. We're, we're building uh, vertical gardens, uh, enclosed butterfly garden, hummingbird gardens, that working on that green roof, and learning about solar energy, because we have those beautiful solar panels on the, on the Aqua Center right now. 
So these are some of our, <coughs> our students. They are so wonderful and so brilliant. Diego, welcome. Come on in, have a seat. So good to see you. Um, they, they know, they know what they're talking about. After they finish their, their cookies, they're gonna go to their prospective projects and they're gonna explain to you what they're, what they're working on. I wanna thank you so much for promoting science in this, in this community. Thank you so much for the Aqua Center. Thank you so much for that wetland. We have seen thousands of kids in the last 10 years at the wetland. So thank you so very much for supporting such an endeavor. So without further ado, wonderful students, can you go to your tables? And you're gonna be expecting some good questions, okay? All right? <laughs> yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Now, what is it you have? Size of the brain uh, matter? Yes, it is. Thank you. Oh, okay, yeah, there's probably a little bit of 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 I went to So women, women develop faster. Their brains are developed by 18 and men by uh, 21. I don't know that at all. Some, some of us even older than that. What happens when we're older with the brain cells? What happens with the brain cells? What happens with the brain cells? by May 21st. Uh, it has wind power. They figured out how um, they can heat water. Uh, this also has an air conditioning unit. We're going to do a desalination um, experiment taking cells out of salt water. This is a greenhouse. We're going to start growing plants in there. It's, a, it's an amazing thing. And really, these, these girls are really the most amazing team I've ever worked with. They're fantastic. Is this a model of the greenhouse that you're going to build? Uh, yeah. I, I found this um, wonderful curriculum about a year ago, and I, it was the closest thing that emulated what was going on on top of the Aqua Center. You know, to get to know and understand solar energy. Um, Celsius. So, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, Sun collector. <laughs> 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 
Wonderful developmental tool. Fifth grade girls are getting us and understanding this and looking for I wanted to start that. Because B-I-N. You have to put dirty words on the ground. Let me see this. Let me see this. You put newspaper or banana peel. It's like the rubber is still Yeah, banana peel. What's your name, honey? Maya. Maya. And your last name? M I A. You put D and then A. Pretty nice. What happened to Well, I'll let them tell you. I am. Some do better than that. Oh. You know, I am. I am. I'm going to have to have you spell that. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can just put it on. Go ahead, you talk to the trustee. Jenna Seven. Jenna Seven. Yeah, she has a long last name. Jenna Shevich? Oh, I can do, I can spell that for you right now. <laughs> I can say it, but I don't know. Please spot it, so. Is that a live one? I don't see it. Oh, it's hidden. It. Yeah, it's alive. That's how a decomposes, right? Girls? I can't believe they eat paper. They do. They eat mainly everything. When they're so big, they'll eat um, tree bark. And she falls down and she'll eat them from the tree bark. What's the lifespan? It's great. How long did it take? I get to check again. All right. Oh, you said you got bigger ones? Yeah. Just get one of them. 
Yeah, it looks like the babies are at the top. It's about Al He drew this. Well, he he just and then he just made it. He just made it like well, baby. The yeah. owls sell so yeah. food, like regular yeah. animals. Yeah. They throw up. They, they digest the meat. They crack. And they crack. They crack. They crack. Well, and, yeah. and if you look closely, you can see some parts. Like the parts. So the the and bones. And bones. My experiment was pretty neat because you know what? I don't know. Is it a small pellet? Is there more bones in a small pellet or a big pellet? I found out there were more bones. I it was a small pellet. Well, first, I, had to, I picked up the big pellet. And I found 93 bones. And then I, kept, I opened up the small pellet. And this time I used water, which was kind of hard because the fur is stuck. And I found 103 bones. And that was a big surprise to me. And the way they get these animals is they, the tip of their feathers are very soft, so they fly silently. And then when they get right up to their prey, they screech. And that scares the animal, and they stop. And just picks them up and eats them whole. This is Leah Smith, Mohawk School, Grade 4. Thank you. The solar probably looks like one of those. I know exactly. Yeah. 